So this is 933, and we have an RL circuit. So it looks something like this. We have a AC 220 volt source, 220 volts um, AC, and then we have a resistor, and then also an inductor. So the resistor is here and the inductor is here and we know the voltage across the resistor is 170 volts. Okay, so 170 volts. So we and we also know that the voltage the voltage in an inductor leads the current by 90 degrees, by 90 degrees here. So when we talk about the voltage in an inductor, the voltage in an inductor, VL, is equal to J omega L times I, right? where this value here is the impedance. It's in the J direction. So if we have the real and imaginary axis, um, the, the voltage VL is in the imaginary direction. So let's take a look. So we have 220 at some phase angle theta is going to be equal to the voltage across the resistor plus the voltage across the inductor. So we have the voltage across the resistor and then plus the voltage across the inductor. And the voltage across the inductor will be in the J direction. So um, subbing this in, we have 220 at an angle theta, we don't know. And we have 170 plus JVL. Um, equals this 220. So transforming this into polar coordinates, so we have 170 squared plus VL squared, the square root of that, must equal R. So that must equal this 220. So that must equal 220. So 220 is equal to 170 squared plus VL squared. So the first thing we do is square the 220, and then we get 170 squared plus VL squared, and then we subtract 220 squared minus 170 squared, and then taking the square root of that should be equal to VL the voltage across the inductor. So let's do that. 220 squared minus 170 squared and taking the square root, we have VL is equal to 139.6 volts. And that is our solution for the RL circuit.